Alvin, a stunning new twist in the case of Scott Peterson. The man convicted of killing his pregnant wife and unborn baby is getting help from the LA Innocence Project. The nonprofit group says they're looking into evidence that supports Peterson's long-standing claim of innocence. KTLA's Mary Beth McDade in the News Center with the latest developments. MB. Well, Sharon Micah, it's been 20 years since Scott Peterson was convicted for killing his wife, Lacey, and their unborn baby. And now the LA Innocence Project is requesting evidence from the original investigation. Now, this includes interviews with eyewitnesses who claimed they saw Lacey alive after she was reported missing on Christmas Eve 2002. The LA Innocence Project is taking up convicted killer Scott Peterson's case. He claims that he did not receive a fair trial due to possible jury misconduct. There are a number of high profile cases that they've taken on and won. Peterson has long maintained his innocence that he did not murder his wife Lacey and their unborn son Connor. The couple lived in Modesto, California when Lacey was murdered on Christmas Eve 2002. The nonprofit group is seeking new evidence from the original trial. According to court filings, they've requested any new reports, leads, evidence, or tips received by MPD or any other law enforcement agency since the date of Mr. Peterson's conviction, identifying individuals other than Mr. Peterson as possibly involved or responsible for the disappearance and deaths of Lacey and Connor Peterson. They have also filed a motion for DNA testing. There have been advancements in technology, but some some of these claims, and I want to be very clear, we don't know exactly what their end game is or what they're looking for. They said they have newly discovered evidence. Peterson's attorneys say they can't locate evidence from the investigations in a December 22 burglary at a home across the street from the Petersons. Scott has said in the past that Lacey must have been killed by burglars. The burglars, we've talked about that already. These two burglars were already cleared. Peterson was arrested in the winter of 2003 after Lacey's body washed up along the San Francisco Bay. During his trial, prosecutors said he had a mistress and was dreading becoming a father. Peterson was convicted in 2004 of first-degree murder of Lacey and second-degree murder of their unborn child. In 2020, a judge tossed out his death sentence penalty and resentenced him to life in prison without the possibility of parole. A judge denied his request for a new trial in December 2022 over jury misconduct. Well, hundreds of pages of court documents were released today, and we're going to continue to pour over them for you and bring you more details tonight at 10. We're also going to hear from a former juror from the Peterson murder trial. For now, reporting live here in New Center, Mary Beth McDade, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Mary Beth, thank you.